I mean, one thing I like about him is that he um always be looking for jobs. Who? Who? That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no click. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph and Tasha. We are back with another video. Before we get into it, I want you guys to uh, please thumbs the video up. Uh, yeah, I forgot the intro, but it's all good. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm just happy I feel great, y'all. Baby, take it away. Tell me <laughs> what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing a food mukbang. We'll tell you what we have when we get to the video because we got a lot. And we're also doing some viewer topics. I have a question. Yes. What is there besides a food mukbang? Like, normally I'll say a seafood boil or tacos. Oh. But when we have random shit, the food mukbang. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You ready? Yes. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. We are back. So today, we have we went to a place called Fresh Corn, Corn Grill. I wanted to try something different, so I'm trying their shrimp tacos for the first time. Tasha is inspecting for something. I'm just looking. It's fine. <laughs> I got. I also got some roasted butternut. Butternut squash, butternut squash and Brussels sprouts, y'all. Mm. What'd you get? I got grilled chicken, kale, Brussels, Brussels sprouts, and I needed some glazed yam, y'all. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. I got my Heinz 57, if y'all don't know what that is. Oh, I didn't know you like that on um chicken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I only like it on chicken. You don't see me eat it on nothing else. Like oh, I can eat it on steak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you only ate it on steak. Oh, no. I like it on chicken or steak. Yeah. This is the butternut squash. I've never had this either. Mm. They're good. Uh oh, she's smiling. Let me try. They got some good food. Yeah, their food is really good. They have a lot of different vegetables, which I like. And they grill them all, so they all have that like kind of barbecue mm. grill flavor. Oh, okay. that's good. Mm -hmm. Um, their kale is good. I just actually had this the other day. We had kale. Well, I had kale and um, same exact thing, y'all. Same exact whole thing. I'm about to try out this shrimp taco. Shrimp taco, y'all. I don't know if I'm doing a viewer topic or just I'm not sure, y'all. Cause I um, I was inspired today to talk about something that is just a topic that I want to talk about. Um, uh -huh. The guy who was outside washing a car. Young guy. Oh, that's it. What? Taco? Mm-hmm. Mm. My first time having them. Oh, okay. Shout out to all the hustlers in the world. Mm -hmm. Especially the young hustlers. Why you put this shrimp is, right there? This is the it fell. Oh. This is a special shout out to the young hustlers. Mm-hmm. So he was outside, had his van, and he was washing a car. So I guess he has like a mobile car wash service. Yeah, mobile detailing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had a uh, the whole thing, a big water tank in the back of the van, the other little equipment. I don't know what it was. Um, and I was just like, "Hey, do you have a number?" He was like, "I have a card." He gave me his card. Um, I asked How him. How old do you think he was? Mm. I don't think he was any older than twenty, between eighteen and twenty, maybe. That's dope. Uh huh. And um, he either worked to get that van or somebody gave it to him. And I just want to mention this. He is, he's black. And in certain communities, you can get ahead a lot faster when you have somebody helping you. Mm -hmm. um, when you have a dad or an uncle that, you know, he got a, job, a good job, a little bit of money, he's not in jail or on drugs or, you know, just a product of his environment from his parents or whatever the case is, and he can give you something. A lot of people don't have that. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So they either have to do it themselves or sometimes they can't even do it themselves because now they got three or four little sisters they gotta take care of. So mm -hmm. you need to consider everyone's background before you judge them, man. Yeah. I agree. And say, oh, you lazy. You, I did it. You can't. Some people have, everybody has a different circumstance. But anyway. But that took me back to my younger years. And I feel like I've always kind of been a hustler. Mm -hmm. I think meeting you, it kind of made me feel like, okay, this is a good person for me. Because 
I've never really been with somebody who had the same mindset with that as I do. Mm hmm Tasha was definitely a hustler. Yeah, okay. So I was just thinking, because we have a lot of people, a lot, lot, lot of people, <laughs> okay, that ask us for a lot of stuff, y'all. And we love to give. Trust and believe we love to give. But it just makes me think, like, there's so many things that you could be doing for yourself. Like, yeah, I can give you $50. I can give you $100. Mm -hmm. That's not going to help you. That's not really going to sustain you in life. $50 is just going to help you temporarily. It's yeah. going to help you for what you need you right now. Oh, you need a, some food. Okay, mm -hmm. you're going to get some food for a minute. It's not going to sustain you. Right. So, I would just be thinking, like, I feel like it's like three types of people in life when it comes to this topic. You either could be a hustler mm -hmm. or you could be a person who just works everyday life and maintains and they're able to take care of themselves. Or you can just be a begging person that don't do nothing. Yeah. What do you want to be? Some people consider you know that I mean? they probably consider themselves hustlers. I'm nothing. You making me feel like something. Going that on. just look like a snail. But. So he said some people probably consider the Some people who they do. Because they hustle always other ask. People. Yeah, they hustle other people. Don't hustle other people. They're like, I'm a hustler. Don't like, do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I want everybody to be happy and free and be able to like do their own stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I think a lot of people are depressed in life because they're, they're financially unstable mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do or they just don't have the motivation to do stuff. Mm -hmm. There's always a way, I feel like. I mean, because I've always found a way. Mm -hmm. I've always found a way, y'all. There's a way. Sometimes it's hard to find, figure out what it is, but you got to really think about it. Yeah, there's always a way. Mm -hmm. Even out Even of stuff. no way when you think there's no way. Exactly. Like the little boy, the, the young guy. He was like, mm, what can I do? I can go watch people do a mobile car. I think mobile things are so good right now mm -hmm. because a lot of people just want more time. Like, I wish I could find a mobile hand, like nail uh, tech that mm -hmm. would come to me. Mm -hmm. If you can help somebody to save time right now, a good business. that's a business you want to think about doing. But in the meantime, you no, know, you need money to start businesses sometimes. Sometimes you don't need a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Do some Postmates. Postmate, 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 Uber, all that stuff, all them apps. Mm -hmm. Until you get up enough money to um, purchase that van or even rent the van. I don't think you're supposed to be working out of a rental, but. All right. All right. I mean, one thing I like about him is that he um, always be looking for jobs. Who? 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 You. You always look. You're always looking for like ways to make money. Like he is more of a hustler than I am, y'all. I'll be like, Are you talking about me? Yeah. Okay. You think so? Mm hmm. Anyway, I, I was, that's, that's something I was gonna say. Um, when I met Stephanie, um, I was a hustler, right? But. And, but this is, this is what, how, kind of hustler I was. I wasn't at my full potential at all. No, he wasn't. I would do enough to, um, um, what was I going to say? I would do enough, oh. I always hustled just enough so where Elijah had everything. He never had to ask me for nothing. Elijah had all the toys, all the games, all, you know, he had clothes or whatever. He was good. I didn't have as much as I wanted personally, and that's what I wasn't that much of a hustler. I, I was hustler enough to pay my bills, my rent, and make sure that my baby had everything he needed. And then, but I still wanted like some stuff, but I just I didn't hustle that much. I was like, okay, that's enough. But then when I got with Stephanie, I don't know. It was like, all right, well now I gotta be able to get stuff for my woman, so I need to, you know. And I was getting older. I'm 30 years old. I'm like, okay, we gotta do some more. I gotta do some more. That's the man's responsibility. Can I ask that? What? So drink? Drink, yes. Oh, Ooh. this is turmeric. I normally don't even have I'm not a man. Sorry, excuse me. I mean, you're you're more of the masculine role in our relationship. Yeah, but I'm not a man. I'm not the man. I don't want to be considered the man. I'm not the man, y'all. No, I don't think it's a man's role to take care of his family, like you do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. He just be doing everything. I like. I love. <laughs> <how> <laughs>
You not gonna keep calling me he. First of all, you call me he three times. What? You not gonna keep calling me he. Uh -huh. Yes. I didn't realize it. You not gonna keep calling me he. I didn't even know who you were talking about. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't realize it? I didn't realize I'm saying he. Mm -mm. I mean, sometimes I do slip up, like when I'm talking to my friends when I talk about you. They be like, what? Really? Yeah, because you have, I don't know, you just have this really dominant force in our relationship. I'm it's fine. very sexy, y'all. Um, Thank you. So, yeah. I mean, I understand the straight women and how they like their man to be masculine. So, yeah, he got these, um, Yams. <laughs> oh God. Mm, 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 mm. Those yams are bomb. You don't keep calling me he. Daddy, these yams are bomb. I know. Ooh. They are. I don't want to get them out of here. It's not bad. You need to get these out of here. I'm sure it's not like like the soul food kind. Oh God. It's a little good. less. Let me stay over here with This the place is kind of, this is like a healthy place, so mm -hmm. I don't think they did too much. They probably have honey on them. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I think I have a viewer topic, y'all. I was looking for them. Y'all need to send us some more topics. And y'all need to. Yeah. Y'all don't even like when they say that to us. Y'all need, need to. Y'all need to send us some more topics. Yes, you do. Because it seems like only when we do topics, we start getting topics. So we haven't really been doing a lot yeah, of topics. Because, so. Yeah, because, yeah. So I'm just letting y'all know. We need some viewer topics, guys. Okay. Okay. That's good, y'all. I'm telling you. This change is wonderful. What? My man's so sexy. Mm. Babe, I'm not mad. Don't call me a man. She do working like one. <clears throat> All right, let me see y'all. Daddy getting mad at me. So here's the topic. So my boyfriend and I have been together for seven years. I just recently had my first child, his possible second, is what she says. Possible now. second? His possible second. Okay. Um, around the first two years of us dating, I was introduced to his former female friend. Okay. And she was so pressed to be my best friend. Now, I knew she had a crush on him, and even he knew this, but he never acted on it because she's his best friend's baby mama. Okay. Okay. This story is long, but to sum it up, he didn't want me to speak to her anymore, so I obeyed his wishes. Obey? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that word really got me too. About two years later, she inboxes me on IG asking me to call her. Don't you know when I call Hold her- Hold on, you said two weeks or two years? Two years. Two okay. years later. Don't you know when I call her, she tells me she has a baby with my boyfriend? Whoa. But she was also like, oh, but I want y'all to stay together. Y'all make a cute couple. Whoa. He has denied <laughs> sleeping with her to, to this day. So he's like, nah. Okay. She lying. I don't know what to think because he claims he didn't. But why would she call me after two years just to lie to me? I mean, that all you gotta do is get trash. a paternity test and it'll be a done deal. That's true. But see, he wanna see, he gon he gon fight this to the death. Unless, because yeah, I would too. Because he had to have slept. You with said because it's true. I'm saying it. He, he had to have slept with this woman. How? Because I feel like he would be like, okay, let's get a paternity test. Number one, he why did he um oh. not want them to talk? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Something happened, and he was like, uh, -uh I don't want y'all talking anymore. Okay. So she stopped talking to him, and then she gonna call two years later? Did she send pictures? I mean, she, she didn't say all that, huh? Who the gonna call two years later? And yeah. Like, I have a fucking baby. She just started up. She would've been over him by then. Exactly. Yeah. Nah. She was Wait, like, I'm and tired that's, her, that's his ex? That's his best friend's baby's mom? Yes, so they both have a kid by the same person. Probably. You might as well go have a baby by your boyfriend's Best friends, so y'all can just all have a great, big, big nice family. family. Yeah. So if he did this, mm -mm, no way. No um, way. So he was already dealing with this girl. Don't be sticking thing and nobody else. Raw. 
What? Huh? And then trying to tell me don't be the, the girl's friend? Please. All right, you need to just uh, leave him alone. Let well, first dude, of all, let this dude try something like that. You know what I'm saying? Never. Try something like what, babe? Get somebody pregnant? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Anything you want to say? No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. You okay? All right, you want to play? Cool, I got you. What? Mama, can you hand me the salsa? Sure, daddy. I'm going to give this salsa to him, y'all. Here. I don't want that, mommy. <laughs> mommy, mommy, can I have some of your juice? Thank you, mom. Please don't get your mustache hair in. Fuck no. Mm -mm. Okay. So Stephanie tried to prank me by calling me him. <laughs> that was funny though. Somebody told me to do that prank. It For was real? Like, yeah, Trina um, referred to Tasha as male pronouns. Okay. The uh, entire video. That's funny. I try, y'all. That's funny. Uh, I didn't get it. I know we've been pranking each other and like sometimes whatever, but. Um, I didn't get it at first. I was like, what? <laughs> Why do you keep saying he? But you know, people say he by accident all the time. But initially, I thought you were talking about somebody else. <laughs> I thought you were talking about him. I ain't no man. Oh, that was fun. Thank you for the prank. If y'all want to send me more pranks, please send it to Steph Love Love on Instagram. If y'all want to send me some pranks, send them to Mama's Boy 80. Please on send me some pranks. At Instagram. <laughs> all right, look, y'all. I'm not doing no cheating pranks. Just so, so y'all know. Want I have a couple people that are saying that, but I'm not going to do that. It's too hard. Um, and I don't want to get hit. You know, there's just too many things that's going to go on with a cheating prank. First of all, ain't nobody going to believe that shit unless you really... I mean, you got you to gotta play it out. No, they telling it. me to play it out for days. Yeah. They're they serious. But you would have to put, effort, like, big effort into it. And we can't be doing the mukbang because I know damn well. I'm going to be texting a girl. Like, no. somebody told me to, like, have a girl. Like, her up your phone. That's the thing. It's too hard to do it. Not to say I'm too... I'm, you know, I would do it maybe maybe but i don't know how to get there to do it i ain't really into the doing that to be honest either it wouldn't even work y'all because the minute i think something when she playing it out during the days we gonna already have it out before exactly. the camera you know exactly we already gonna have it out it's already gonna be like excuse me is there right. a problem is there something that you need mm, camera ain't gonna be on yeah yeah so that ain't gonna work Everything else goes, y'all. So please hit me up in the DMs, if, especially if it's stupid. I like them stupid pranks. Obviously, I'm just dumb. My shit just. I like stupid. really silly stuff too. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. So. Um, wait, but that topic was real. Yeah. I think he's probably he he could be the baby daddy, but he def I think he definitely has cheated with the girl. It's not lining up because I feel like if you haven't, you will just. Clear your name. He'd be very adamant it. about getting a paternity exactly. test. I don't, I don't think she would say that if it, if there's not even a possibility. Well, you don't know her. That's true. There are some insane people. Mm -hmm. But let's just talk about the majority of society. I don't think the majority of women would just think up some random shit. You, we ain't never had sex, but you gonna call the girlfriend two years later and say, why? Yeah, I mean, they at least had sex. I'm gonna say that. Okay. I think they at least had sex. What do y'all think? Uh huh. Well, if that's not his baby, you can't say they have. You never sex. know. Exactly. You, you're never gonna know. But mm, something don't seem right about this. I don't know if they did anything, but I will say, I mean, yeah, something don't sound right. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna make it all. Thank I you. always be trying to mm -hmm. take a look. Something don't sound right. I feel like if I told Stephanie not to talk to somebody who used to be my friend, it's either because we had a falling out. Now, why do we have a falling out? I would tell my wife why we had a falling out, or. I done done something with my friend and I'm scared my friend is going to tell. Exactly. So, y'all can't talk no more. It's <laughs> over. No more. Bye. All right. Um, the worst thing you could possibly do as a man is get somebody pregnant that you don't want to get pregnant. In my opinion. Um, yeah. Men, wear some condoms. When you cheat, especially, please wear a condom. How about don't cheat? Don't cheat, yes. But I'm saying, since they seem like they can't not cheat, uh -huh. stock up on the condoms. Yeah. We outro, y'all. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys think. We have a vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. Link is in the description below. Set your notifications to all so you will be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, and premieres. Until next time, only your vibes. Peace. You gonna do that over.
<laughs> you gonna do that? Why? Over. You gonna do that over? Why? You, you gonna, gonna be the man of the house and tell me what to do? Until next time. Was that better? <laughs> no! <laughs> Only goodbye. Peace. Peace.